So it's our final phonics session of the week, and we are going to be carrying on with our short vowel double it spelling rule. Now, like I said yesterday, this is we're just introducing it this week. So um, if you find it a little bit tricky, don't worry, because we will be coming back to it and practicing it some more. OK, so we're just going to give it a go and try our best with it um, in our session today. OK, now, before we start it. Let's have a look at these sounds that we have been learning most recently, okay? Now, this one was in our handwriting this morning. Good, shout it out, ow. Good, care and share air. Awesome autumn. Give me more or. That's not fair air. Yawn at dawn, or good. Whirl and twirl, er. Uh. Great big bear, air, uh. or it could be around the earth, er. Uh. Remember, they look the same, but they sound different. Stop thief, e, or it could be nice tie, i, and good. To the stew. So what we're going to do just very quickly is do our real and alien words. So off we go. Sound it out for me. U X ot. E X ot. What do we think? Yeah, that one's made up, isn't it? Let's try this one. V uch. Vuch. Good. Made up word, isn't it? Let's try this one. Okay, is this one kook kook? Or is it cook, cook? Good, it's that one, and that's a real word, isn't it? Okay, how about this one? Alb, halb. Yeah, that one's made up. This one, j oi, mm, join. Good, that one's a real one. And our last one, e o, feel. Good, well done. Okay, it's important that we keep using those phonic skills with our reading. Okay, so I said we're going to carry on with the short vowel double it. And yesterday in our session, we were thinking about suffixes and adding a suffix to the end of a word. Now, remember, a suffix is a letter or a group of letters that we add to the end of a word and it changes the meaning of the word. OK, so the one that we were thinking about yesterday was ing. Now, we don't need that one today, so I'm just going to put that one up there. OK, but ing is a suffix. And the other suffix that we're going to think about in today's session is the suffix er. Uh. OK, so when we add er to the end of a word, that's the suffix er. Uh. Now, the rule for adding er uh to a word that has got the short vowel followed by a consonant is exactly the same as adding ing. So let's just go back to our vowels. OK, there's five vowels. There's A, E, I, O and U. But they can make a short vowel sound as well, like A, E, I, O and U. Uh. And it's those short vowels that we need to be thinking about today, remembering those in our heads. So, a, e, i, o, and a. Uh. All right. And just like yesterday, if we have one of those one syllable words that has got one of those short vowel sounds followed by a consonant. Now, remember, a consonant is any of the sounds, any of the letters that are not vowels. OK. So if one of those follow a short vowel sound, we need to double it before we add the suffix. So let's show you on my board and hope it will be clearer for you. OK, so I'm going to write this word down on my board. And I want you to tell me what this word says. OK, what does that word say? It says I. Mm, thin. Now, I can hear that short i sound. So, th, i, mm. So, there's our short vowel sound. And following it, so after it, is a consonant. And it's the consonant n, the n sound. So, what do I need to do 
before I add my suffix. OK, because I want to change the word thin into the word thinner. OK, so we're going to be using the suffix er. Thin into thinner. I need to double the consonant. Now I've got my red pen with me now, so you'll be able to see it a little bit clearer. So thin, and then we add the suffix er. So the word thin has now become the word thinner. OK, so let's do another one and then you're going to have a practice. So I want you to change this word for me. So what does this word say? It says the word flat, doesn't it? F uh, at. OK, now I want us to change the word flat into the word flatter flatter okay so what do we need to do it's a one syllable word it's got the short vowel sound because it's got a and then after the a there is a consonant so what do i need to do i need to double the consonant don't i so we need to add another t and then we can add our suffix uh so the word flat becomes the word flatter. OK, your turn to have a go. And I would like you to have a go at this word for me. OK, so what does that say? It says slim. I, mm. But I would like you to change the word slim into the word slimmer. So pause the video whilst you go and have a go at doing that. Slim, change it into slimmer. Off you go. OK, how did you get on? Did you remember the rule? Could you hear that short vowel sound? S I. Mm, so what do we have to do? We've got the short vowel and it's followed by a consonant. So we need to, good, we need to double the consonant to the word slimmer. And then we add our suffix. There we go. So the word slim has become slimmer. Well done to you if you had a good go at doing that. All right. One more I want you to practice before we have a go at doing a sentence. All right, so I want you to tell me what this word says. Okay, it says mm, doesn't it? Well done for sounding that out. So it says swim. I want you to change the word swim into the word swimmer. Okay, off you go. Pause the video, off you go. Right, did you follow the rule? So, so it's got that short vowel sound. It's followed by that consonant. So we need to add another m, another m, and then we need to add our suffix. Uh, so we've changed the word swim into the word swimmer okay well done you if you gave that one a go okay just like in all of our phonics sessions we now need to apply what we have learned so I've got my man up here and he's got two cups of tea one of them for me is for me one of them is for him and the sentence that I want you to have a go at writing says my tea is hotter than his so my tea is hotter than his. Now I'm going to give you a clue. It's the word hotter that you need to think about. So start with the word hot and decide what you have to do. So pause the video, have a go at writing it and then come back.
Right. How did you get on? Just moving that up a little bit so I've got more space to write. OK, did you remember all your sentence rules as well as remembering the spelling rule? OK, so the first word in our sentence was the word my. So I'm starting over here. I'm remembering my capital letter. So my. And the next word is T. Now we know how to write T and we know which E sound it is from our rhyme cup of T E. So I know it is the E and the A. So my T, finger space, is, now how to write is, now the word hotter. Now I said to start with the word hot, didn't I? So let's start with hot. Hot. Now I know hotter. I can hear that er uh sound in the word as well. So I know it's got the suffix on the end. Hotter. What do I need to do? I can hear that short vowel sound. It's followed by a consonant. Good. I need to double that consonant, don't I? So my T is hot er. Uh, Van, so I'm back down here because I've run out of room. Van, and what was the last word? It was his, good. So my T is hotter than his, full stop. I've heard that short vowel, it's followed by a consonant, so I've doubled the consonant and I've added the suffix er. Uh. And I've remembered all of my sentence rules as well. So, finished our session. Well done for giving it a go. Now, like I said, please don't worry if you're finding this tricky. OK, it takes lots and lots of practice, which is why we will come back to it in a few weeks and practice it again then as well. So well done, everybody, for giving it a good go today.